This is a EDT-1160U Digital Communication Technologies. This week we are discussing digital communication technologies and commerce. The title of this video clip is Buying Socially Online. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Why do people buy goods and services online? How did Vicky get into buying online? And what are the differences between shopping with friends and making online purchases? As a teenager in the late 1990s, Vicky used to do most of her shopping in the city with her friends on the weekend. When she left her hometown to go to university, she was nostalgic of these moments. She was now living in the city, but she had to shop alone. Then the internet came and several online stores grew from this. At first, many people were dubious about buying online. They were afraid they would purchase something and it wouldn't come. They were also afraid that the goods would arrive damaged. Vicky's classmates bought their textbooks on ebook.com and got better prices. She decided to do the same and was very satisfied. She opened her browser, found the books, added them to her cart, then created an account and entered her information in a secure form. She knew the form was secured because the web page started with HTTPS, which means Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. She received the books neatly packaged 10 days later and saved a lot of money. The first thing Vicky bought on eBay was a t-shirt. It arrived from China one month later, as the seller described it. She remained dubious about sellers, but she soon learned that there was a way to get informed about these sellers. First, there were ratings, and these depended on how many items the person had sold and on their customer satisfaction. Then there was feedback. If a seller had negative or neutral feedback, customers usually wrote a few words to explain what had happened and the seller could respond. She took the habit not to buy anything from sellers that had less than 95% positive feedback, but she also looked at the tone of the response on their feedback. Some sellers were apologetic and wanted to find a solution. Some sellers were arrogant and didn't really seem to care. Vicky also realized that it was not just individuals who were selling online. There were several online stores. Online stores, also called e-stores, e-shops, web shops, internet stores, click stores, and virtual stores are part of a market called electronic commerce. This electronic retail industry now holds an important part of the market and corresponds to a billion dollar industry. But one might ask, is buying online remove all the fun behind shopping that Vicky had when she shopped with her friends as a teenager? The truth is that buying online is also very social. 90% of the people who buy online wouldn't buy a product if they didn't read the reviews first. Much of these reviews come from the social media. Sometimes they are direct product reviews, other times they are products or stores that friends have shared in the social media. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Why would someone buy online? What is social about buying online? And what are the things to watch out for when one buys online? 